Hey guys. Well, for some of us up north, it doesn't feel like spring, but when you look at the calendar, we're getting kind of close. And for me, this is the time of year. It's time to get the rods, get the reels ready. And I thought I wanted to show you a couple little things I'm doing differently this year than I've done in the past. The first thing is, we've spent almost a year dealing with all this COVID stuff. And basically, you know, it's put a lot of us in position. We don't get out and go to places to pick up stuff like we used to, or we can't find what we want. There's a lot of stuff on the shelf, just or not on the shelf, it's just not there. So this year I thought I'm gonna do a little bit different when it comes time to putting new braid and new line on my reels. And part of it, what helps me is, I got a new reel. I picked up a new Luz KVD. I wanted a new reel for my bait casting, so I got a new lose for that. And what that meant was I can now take my old lose that I was using for bait casting, and that one I can now switch over and put it over to braid. So here's what I ended up doing. I took most of the line, pulled all the line out of here. And if you haven't seen any of my other videos, I like to put about 25 yards of fluorocarbon, and then I put about 75 yards of braid. And the way I do that is with this. This is a Berkeley line counter. I've done a video on this. If I remember, I'll put a link down in the description. Basically, I turn it around backwards, and I count the amount of line going on instead of going off. So what I did was I pulled all the line out here, and I brought back 25 yards. That's my fluorocarbon. Then I took this reel that had all my braid. I tied the braid to the fluorocarbon and I reeled it all the way in until I had it all in there. Now, I'll take this reel with a little braid, tie it onto this one, and reel it all over to here, and basically what I'm doing is I'm taking the braid that was on top, and I'm putting it on the bottom. And as you can see, with this high visibility, there's the one I fished with last year, and here's the braid that was hidden underneath, and you couldn't find it. So basically, instead of putting all new line on this year, Sometimes this braid's been a little tough to find, especially I like high visibility. Sometimes that's a little tougher to find the others. I thought, let's just roll it around this year. I got a perfect opportunity to do that. Now, the other thing I'm doing differently this year, and I will admit, I was approached by the people from SuperClean. A lot of people might think you're thinking cars, you're thinking mechanics, you're thinking all that type of stuff. And I did too when I was first contacted. Not so much of fishing, but after talking to them, I said, you know what? Let's do this. I'd like to give this try. Anything that works to get things clean and does it right, I'm willing to try that. It comes different ways. I have some of the foam. I got an aerosol. This is the concentrate. You'll see. We're going to work on that with my boat later. But the foam comes straight out. I thought, that's what I want to use on the rods and the reels. And let me show you. Here's one of the rods I had last year. And here's one on that cork handle. I just cleaned it up with that super clean. I'm just, I mean, it looks like it, to me, it's like it's brand new. I don't know how well you'll be able to see it in the camera, but I was just amazed how it cleaned up the cork. And you know, your handles, you, you're slimy, you got fish, you got vegetation, anything you can work with on a lake, that's what you're covering your handle with. That stuff, I was amazed. It really cleaned it up, it did a job. I'm going to do the same thing in this situation. Uh, what I'll pr probably do when I get here is once I got the line on it, I'm going to pull the spool out. I'm going to take the spool out now. I'm going to go through with the foam cleaner. I might try one of these with the aerosol to see how that works too. I want to try them both to see what you like. Get inside, get a Q-tip, really dig in there, get it all cleaned out, pre-lubed. When you're doing the rods, yeah, the handle's good. Don't forget the guides. They always get a bunch of gunk in the guides. That can cause wear and tear. And let's face it, if you're catching the fish of the lifetime, or you got at least the fish of the year on, we're not going to want to lose it because the reel is dirty or gunky or the lion's had something or something. We want everything to be as good as it can be so we don't lose that fish when we get that big one on. But that's the way, turn your line around backwards. I know a lot of guys talk doing it. This year, I'm doing it just because with COVID, I'm not going out. Try this. I got to admit, it's, it's some good stuff. I've been impressed. I'm anxious to see this in my camper. I got stuff out there. 
but I'm really anxious to see the concentrate in my boat because I want to see the scum on that outside of that boat. I want to see how well this cuts it off and we'll find that out in a few weeks when it's time to dig the boat out. All right, get those rods and reels cleaned up. We're not that far off. Thanks for sticking with me. Subscribe to the channel if you would. Hope to see you again real soon.